What's up? This is Ryan from Big D and the Kids Table, and you're watching Label Networks TV. Hi, this is Bree for Label Networks TV. I'm here with Ryan, Big D, and the Kids Table. What's up, everybody? Yeah. So, uh, what are your opinions on uh, how many bands out here that are actually like your style? I mean, you guys are one of the few sort of ska infused bands yeah i mean we're one of the few ska bands here um but yeah all the the punk rock bands and stuff we're into like pennywise kills it every day and uh you know bad religion kill switch engage is awesome um there's definitely a lot of different genre bands you can kind of group them into like our group and like their group you know mm -hmm. um they seem to all be younger and like this just seems to be this thing coming up it's kind of i think it's throwing all of us off a little bit but uh you know it's not too bad you know good for them we'll probably be done in a year or two anyway so Ooh, that's some, that's some fighting words there's definitely a lot of haters for ska huh i've noticed like people you know they don't really get into the whole vibe of it which i don't understand because it's just like nothing but happy yeah, we're, lively cool music yeah we're not trying to hurt anybody but it's okay. We're we're used to it by now, definitely. So, and I know you don't write the lyrics, but uh, you know you play along to them. And um, what do you think about some of the the lyrics that you guys have got in your songs? Like you've got a lot to say, it seems. And with the, the new banners you've got, and the new T-shirts and everything, just want to talk about a bit about that. Yeah, I think this record, you know, like a couple years ago, we started, you know, getting into these different causes and things like that, like the global warming thing, like working with the climate crisis and the Save Darfur. Uh, people, you know, trying to spread awareness for that. And uh, Dave's definitely put that in some of the lyrics, like uh, we have a song, Hell on Earth, we have a song, Try Out Your Voice, you know, which pretty much just trying to rile up kids to, who maybe never thought about it before to, you know, look into different things and form their own opinion on it and try and act on it. We kind of have a voice that we can use to spread around, you know, so it's good when people pick up on it. And, when they get excited, as we are for it, you know? Uh, you were out in 05, which is when I met you, and um, what's the difference with, between this tour and 05 for you? You played the main stage quite a few times already. On this tour? Yeah. Yeah, we got bumped up a couple times, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, the ba yeah, I don't know, just this year it is just like a new crop of bands, like I was saying before, mm -hmm. that I don't think, they, it wasn't really there a couple of years ago. In 2005 we did the whole thing, we're doing the whole thing this time, so I think we're used to the, the grind and, you know, we know wh where everything is, you know, we, you know, you know what to do for everything, so, yeah, it's pretty good, and like this year we're doing, we got bumped up to the Hurley.com stage, that's what we usually play, which is a lot bigger yeah. than the Ernie Ball stage we did last time, and then that kind of puts you in position to maybe get the, the bump to the main stage or something like that. And we did that a couple times. And when we heard we were doing that, it was like the first time we've ever done it. And we were all so nervous getting on stage. And <laughs> so, uh, so what do you do for fun at night on this tour? It was the same thing every day. How do you try and mix it up? Um, it's hard to mix it up because we just do the same thing every day. But you know, once everyone's done, like you know, eight or nine o'clock, um, you, you know, we put out our tent around our bus. And there's a million buses around us, and you know, your chairs and. And just kind of strolls through and you're drinking your beer and I, you get, I stroll you get, yeah I, we see Brie all the time mm -hmm. rolling through you know then you get bored so you move to the next place and it's so easy to just go up to people and be like hey you know I'm Ryan I play in Big D they're like oh cool I'm blah 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 from blah 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 you know mm -hmm. nobody's really like you know eh you know yeah. get out of here and it's funny some of the older bands like you know when they hear who, who we are they're a little more receptive they're like oh alright I Maybe not, I don't listen, but I know you guys. You've been around for like 10 years, 11 years, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed to, uh, you know, some other guys. So uh, I know you're heading out to Europe after this yeah. tour. You want to tell the people a little bit about that? Yeah, we're psyched. We're, we're actually not doing the last four Warp Tour shows because we got to do Reading and Leeds, which we're pretty psyched about. We've never, ever done anything like that. And then um, the following weekend, there's a festival in, uh, in like Austria and one in Switzerland. So we've never really done the festival thing. Definitely not the Europe festivals. We did one 
we did the Gros Rock one in, in March, I believe, or May, in Belgium. And there were like 10,000 people watching us. It was nuts, you know what I mean? They they haven't really heard us before, but they all got into it. It's a totally different vibe over there. Well, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the tour. I will try. I'm sure we will. Yes. Sometimes what you said before about having fun on tour by 50, and uh, that explains it. <laughs> cool. Well, bye. This is Brie for Label Networks TV. See ya. Big D in the kids' table. <laughs> yeah.